Hey guys, what's up? Today I'm gonna teach you how I route GGD P5 in Reaper. Let's go. So let's head over to my favorite DAW, which is Reaper, and load up the GGD P4. I recently uh, loaded it up, and so we have the P4 kit in here. So next thing that you need to do is uh, start by creating these tabs. So as you notice, we have kick tabs, we, are, we have uh, snare tab, toms, and cymbals. And if you're going to inspect the faders inside for each tab is we have a common tracks that you can find on each tab, uh, which are the overheads, mono, room 1, and room 2. All of the tabs has that, as you can see right here. Okay, so that means that it's the common uh, track that every tab has. So in Reaper, I'm going to create those four tracks now. So we have overheads. We have uh, mono, room one, and room two. Okay, so automatically we have these four tracks and I'm gonna start adding tracks from kick so we have the kick in kick out and I'm gonna select these two tracks and move it in front before the overheads there you go and then move to the snare we have snare snare top and snare bottom I'm going to add two tracks snare top and then snare bottom uh yep Let's make this BTM so the name match matches. We have toms as well. So let's add rock tom, floor tom, and floor tom too. As you can see from here. Uh, let's get rid of the side pane. There go. So after the snare bottom, I will add three tracks. And I will name it rock tom. Then floor tom one. And then floor um two and on the symbol tab symbol symbols <laughs> let's add one two three four five so one two three four five okay let's move it on the right to the right okay and then let's add hats splash ride crash ride and then stop And let's move this more times before the tops. Okay. So now we have created all the tracks from these tabs to Reaper. Okay, next. Uh, let's try to add outputs. So now that we have outputs, uh, let's count all the outputs. So we need 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. We need 16. So we have to click this one. And then since we have ST1 already, which is uh, which outs to channel 1 and 2, stereo, we need to add uh, 15 more. So let's uh, click and pull this. And then let's start on KT. Ox one, so this just means that it will start at three four. Okay, so three four. So channel one two is already taken by this, and then let's let's start in three four. Okay, and three, I mean. So press OK, and bam. So you should have sixteen channels, sixteen faders with uh you know stereo outputs in here. So one two three four, and so on and so forth. Now, the next uh, thing that you will need to do is copy what you have in here. So, kick one, kick in. And then, next is that kick out. I'd like to keep it in order so I don't get confused. Snare bottom, and then we have the rock tom. And then the floor tom. And then the floor tom do... Next is the hats, then splash, hats, 
and splash then ride all right then the crash ride crash ride next and then stack and then the four common channels which are the overheads mono room one and lastly the room two all right and let's unassign this one because we're not going to use these aux tracks right here i'm not gonna use you so i'm gonna unassign you right right there so you should have something similar to this now the sense of what i did is uh i'm gonna route all the faders all the signals that coming out from here to here and then from here to here so at the moment after you do this uh reaper or contact has a small bug which uh if you go to here like in the kick tab for example after creating this one it doesn't appear here so it's a bug maybe but you know it's easy to fix just restart your re your reaper and then you'll be good open the contact again and then if you go in kick tab you'll be able to see the track in order so let's try to assign these ones to their corresponding outs so overheads and then mono room one room two and then kick kick tab is done let's go to snare let's go to snare top snare bottom overheads and mono and then room one and also room two second to the last which is toms uh, let's assign the rack tom and then also the floor tom one floor tom two overheads mono and room one then room two all right and lastly the symbols let's assign the hats then splash ride crash ride stack overheads mono room one and lastly room two now that you have assigned all of the uh, outs uh, correctly then you should be able to see the output on each track uh, correctly so as you can see you're receiving a signal when i hit snare you see the snare top and snare bottom you have signals right there so it means it's working thumbs four thumbs and then kick all right so okay remember uh these shells all right so uh, okay the sense of making these shells in order because uh at this state we are going to send all the signals from here to reaper so the way to do that is uh first is i'm gonna rename this one to contact and then click this one and then i'm gonna uncheck this one so no sound will produce will be produced once i hit this in this channel because i want this channel to send all the tracks okay so so the what this channel produce will send all uh, the channel all the tracks in here so like for example if i if the kick is sounding or produce sound therefore we should be uh, this channel should send um signals to its current corresponding channels so see see that kick in kick out okay so the way to do that is i'm gonna click this one okay this right here it means routing for track so i'm gonna route this one and then add maybe how many channels do we need 34 all right so we have 32 right here we can add 30 but i like having more than 32 so if you have 32 right here add 34 32 is okay but you know the more the the better so next is i'm gonna send the kick out channel one two 
in one two. So now we should have a sound right here. So when I when I press kick, you should uh, see sounds from the jazz. So we have should have sound from kick in and kick out. I'll kick in, sorry. There we go. Alright. Now, uh, we need to send kick out. Okay. So, we need to send kick out. And here's the kick out. We need to send, remember the channels 3 and 4? We need to send the stereo source 3 and 4. Okay. There we go. And then continuing on uh, snare tap so we have five six let's send five six for snare and also in bottom seven eight stereo source seven eight where's that there you go all right next is uh click again that output thing right there click that one and then Rockdom in Rockdom we're we're uh, using the channel 910 therefore let's send a stereo source 910 and continue on Rockdom we're using the floor tom sorry floor tom is 1112 stereo source 1112 this is the long method quite tiring but you know i like the long ones to make sure that everything is in place and map so going back floor tom 2 is what child is that 13 and 14 there you go All right cool next is we need to splash uh, the hats splash and ride we need the hats, channels 15 and 16, stereo source 15, 16, and then we, ha we need the splash 17, 18. Actually, let's, let's add this one so it's easier. You can also do this one. I'm going to send all of this. I'm going to create sense like this one. Okay, so if uh you wanna make sure if you got sense there there is a parenthesis one if you see that that means that you have already sent these tracks so if you close that one those tracks are in here okay and then if you click right here so let's open this up so it's has is 1516 yep splash is 1718 it's the same but when you do this so for me it's easier to do this than doing this like that so <laughs> yeah so next is the ride 1920 audio stereo 1920 and then next is the stack which is uh 23 24 23 and 24 yep and then overheads 25 and 26 mono is 27 and 28 then room is 28 uh 29 and 30 29 and 30 and lastly room 2 is 31 and 32 Click that one, 31 and 32. There you go. Alright, snare. Toms. Bar Tom. I hats. Let's uh, try to make this smaller to see if everything is working well. Flash, crash. Uh, 
right that's it it's a pretty long tutorial i hope you uh, learned something and don't forget to share this video to your friends and so and also you like and subscribe to this channel if you want more tutorials like this please don't forget to follow me on all social media my social me han media handle is manugen2 i'm everywhere except x or twitter formerly twitter so yeah if you like this channel please leave a thumbs up and also comment down below if you have questions and i'll try to answer those questions on my free time and that's it see you on the next video ciao hey, hey, okay let it be known i'm working hard when i ain't on the phone this ain't a hunt this ain't a phone grind never stopping i'm keeping it cold unlocking the door with the holy key you're supposed to be this close to me and hopefully you understand g-o-d maybe this